Hey squad, welcome back on another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing all the locations where you can buy a sword. Without further ado, let's start the video. The first two swords are located in the Starter Marine Island, or the Starter Fire Rate Island. They are called Katana and Cutlass and cost 1000 belly. For now, since a fruit just spawned in my server, I'm going to be searching for it. And I'll give it to this guy, if he wants it. Looks like we found a good fruit. It's ice, I think. Yeah, it's ice. I found ice. It motivates me if you guys like subscribe and like the video. It motivates me to do stuff like this. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so I can continue giving away fruits. The third and fourth swords are located in Avogi Island. In Avogi Island, you can find the mace and the dual katana. The dual katana cost for 12,000 and the mace cost 25,000 belly. The next pair of swords can be found in a snow island. The snow island, you can find the sword seller here, and he will sell you the pipe and the triple katana. The triple katana costs 60,000 while the pipe costs 100,000. So, some swords can be obtained from boss drops. The first sword that can be obtained by boss drop is by killing the saw. The saw spawns in this place, in the middle town. After killing him, you'll get something called a shark saw. The saber can only be obtained if you kill shanks. And to kill shanks, you need to be level 200. And you need to finish all the quests. Here is shanks. In the prison, you will encounter a mob called warden. And by killing that warden, you will be able to get a drop called the warden sword. The trident can be obtained by killing Hody. He's located in the Fishman Island. The soul cane is spawned in the volcano. It costs 750,000. Although I don't know where to buy it. Okay, I found the soul cane. I found it. It's located here. The bottom left side of the volcano. It costs 750,000. Yeah. The wall headed blade and Vicento are both located in the Sky Island. The dual headed blade costs 400,000 and Vicento costs 1 million. For Vicento, to get the version 2, you need to kill Whitebeard or Greatbeard when it spawns. And it spawns in the marine base. The first sword in the second sea can be obtained by killing diamonds. He spawns over here. This flower field. The sword that diamond drops is called the long sword. The next sword is called a gravity cane. It can be obtained by killing Fajita and he spawns right over here. The legendary swords can be found in various places because First, you have to talk to this manager, and you have to wait for like 5 hours. And then you have to go to the spots where they spawn, and you need to find them within 5 minutes or they will despawn. So now, I'll be showing you where to find the sword sellers. The first spot that I know of is this one behind the factory. The second spot that I know of is the Colosseum and it spawns in one of these windows. Okay, so the third spot is located in the tunnel.
The fourth spot is in one of those leaves. I think it's that one. Spawns on one of these. Last time I saw him spawn in here, exactly where I'm standing. And right here. And the sword seller spawns inside. To get the dark blade, you need to buy the game pass. And the game pass costs 1,200 Robux. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars.